Ebola, Ebola, life does not go on, no, la, la, life, life does not go on. Gotta love me some of that Ebola. Oh, wow, it's a dream come true. I can't believe this Ebola thing. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? Wow. Have you seen this? Ebola zombies? Oh my god, this is so great! This is so great! Look at this! Look at this! Resurrected people! People with this Ebola that resurrected! And then, of course, Alex Jones. I mean, would you expect anything less? This is awesome! September 10th, Ebola outbreak doubles in three weeks. World Health Organization warns conventional means of control not working. Yeah, so well, so what does that mean? It doubles in three weeks. Every 21 days, we have twice as many infections as we had 21 days ago. So that's 6,000 on the 26th of September. 12,000 on the 17th of October, 24,000 by the 7th of November. Hmm. That's what's called exponential growth. Now, we're assuming at the moment a 50% death rate, so 3,000, that's 48,000 dead by the 19th of December. Those numbers are starting to get a little bit scary. Okay, so let's just project that out. Let's say doubles every 21 days, 50% death rate at that rate by the 20th of November next year we will have had 3,145,728,000 deaths. Yes, I think things would be pretty scary by that point. Well, so, anyway, obviously a 21-day doubling time won't hold, so sometime before November 2015, Ebola deaths, both real and imagined, will stop climbing. Um, Things that will slow it down, the general health and fitness of the patient prior to infection, possibly a cure will be found, better medical care for patients, and then there's a vaccine. And the vaccine is realistic to expect to build a vaccine by 2015. So, and I heard somewhere else that by June next year it will be widely available. Okay, so various factors will combine to slow this sucker down. So instead of a straight line projection, we're going to slow this way down, starting at the 13th iteration, at which we will double the doubling time. And then the 14th will multiply by 3, and then the 15th by 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100, 1,000. So, at some point, there's an effective intervention. There's a vaccine. There's a cure. And the whole thing peters out. At some point. Before it wipes out half the population of the Earth. Probably. Even if we assume that the virus stays in Africa for the next few months, it would be feasible to contain on that continent until total infections are what? 20 million? 50 million? I mean, at some point, if this is a real thing, it's going to burst out of Africa and take out huge populations in Asia, Europe, and the Americas. You don't get a 21-day doubling time for something that is transmitted in the same way that the HIV virus is transmitted. This little beast is in some way airborne, can probably get it from breathing the same air as an infected person close up. And that is not anywhere close to the worst case scenarios now being promulgated by who? Look at this. 70% death rate. But that's not even the worst of it. Look at this. I mean, what? 
20,000 infections by early November. I mean, to get to 20,000 infections by early November, you'd need a doubling time less than 21 days, like 18 days. Or, um, look at this. 1.4 million cases by the middle of January. Well, you'd have to shorten your doubling time to about 13 days to get that many. So, we're talking about a vaccine that's going to be available in June. And by June, at these rates, you're going to be looking at between 12 and 15 million casualties, deaths, at the beginning of June. Well, 15 million deaths, that's, that's going to start a, um, a global panic of just immense proportions. Nobody's going to go to work. Nobody's going to go to school. None of the essential services that we rely on to stay alive will continue functioning. It will be an absolute disaster. I mean, the, the Ebola deaths will, won't, won't even be the most significant factor at that point. The, the, the deaths resulting from the panic will be far greater. This is um, potentially an extinction level event. Let's hope that who is lying about the numbers, eh? Let's just hope that's what's going on.